The Bible says, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Say, terror by night. Terror by night. Nor of the arrows that flies by day. Nor of the pestilence that works in darkness. Nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side. And ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come near you. Psalm 91 verse 5 to 7. You are going to pray that God will set a refuge around the territory. It could be the territory in your home. Your daddy is there. Your mommy is there. Are you with me? Are you with me? So God should set what? Yeah. When circle the territory with his angelic presence. Are you with me? So the terrors that fly by night and arrows that fly by day. There are terrors that fly by night. They will never operate. So far as that territory belongs to you. Jesus. Pray and commit that territory. Now say prophetically after me. All hormones of fear. All hormones of fear. In my body. In my body. Receive divine touch of God. Receive divine touch of God. And. And. May my faith. May my faith. Beginning from today. Beginning from today. Function perfectly. Function perfectly. To reorganize. To reorganize. My faith life. My faith life. To receive, to receive multiple blessings, multiple blessings in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say I receive, I receive multiple blessings, multiple blessings from the living God, from the living God, from the Most High God, from the Most High God. Lord, open your treasures of heaven. Lord, open your treasures of heaven and release, and release your multiple blessings, your multiple blessings. In my life, in my life, upon my life, upon my life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say amen. Amen. Now look at the next level. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy to terminate. To terminate all leaking blessings. All leaking blessings in my life. 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 As I faithfully, as I faithfully, tight, tight, say tight, tight, say tight, tight, say any leaking blessing, any leaking blessing, beginning from today, beginning from today, as I tight faithfully, as I tight faithfully, ceased, ceased, forthwith, forthwith, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now listen, any leaking blessing, any leaking blessing. As I tie faithfully, faithfully on my tie and gift and talent, and gift and talent of, resources, of resources, God gives me, God gives me in the covenant name of Jehovah Jireh. In the covenant name of Jehovah Jireh, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive all blessings, all blessings related, related to tighten, to tighten. On time, on time, gift and talent, gift and talent, and every resource that the Lord gives me, that the Lord gives me from Jehovah Jireh. May the covenant promises of God, may the covenant promises of God, flow like a stream, flow like a stream in my bloodline, in my bloodline, into my children, children. Into my because of the types, of the, types the, time, the time, and the talent, and the talent. In, the in the name of Jesus. Now listen, we are going to prophesy this thing very aggressively. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. I thank you. I thank you. That I have grown. That I have grown. In my conviction that. In my conviction that. God, you are the answer to all my fears. God, you are the answer to all my fears. Therefore, therefore, as I look into the future, as I look into the future, 
and see your resurrection power. And see your resurrection power. And your love guiding my every step. And your love guiding my every step. And that. And that. You will find the truth. You find the truth. I have find the truth. I have find the truth. That set me free. That set me free. To live. To live. Hope filled life. Hope filled life. God created for me. God created for me. A question to enjoy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now let me tell you something. Um, today we're supposed to do our Bible studies. But let me summarize what the gift is. This is how the gift is. Number one. According to um, Romans. Chapter 5, verse 5. I'm reading it. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. It's very important, you know, Bible verse relating to our gift. It says, Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Are you understanding? So still worship. He's talking about still worship. So we are still worship of God, grace and love. Amen. Amen. And that is what the gift does. So still worship here, uh, gift is about still worship. So still worship is what the believer does after he says, I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and what? Savior. Amen. Amen. So that's why every true steward is a faithful steward. Because when you look at this verse, you begin to see that we are stewards of the love of God and the grace of God, given at a great cost. At the great cost. What is the great cost? That is the great cost of the life of Jesus Christ himself. And he says he has poured it into us. He has poured. Say poured. Poured. So God says, I've poured it into you. Why would God pour it into you? Because God believes you that you will be the distribution center. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Now, the reason why you are a steward of God's grace and love, which is your gift, is because it's meant to preserve life. Say life. Life. Say life. life. So a lot of Christians don't like preserving life. They don't like it. They don't like it. They don't know how to sustain life. But God will always give you the gift so that it will help. Now the word edifying, it has to do with what? Preservation. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Edify. Dinshe. Or shall the end of the day be able to me at Tunisia? Amen. Amen. Are you so when you withhold, you kills everything that we hold kills everything that what we hold, and that's why death is always in our community because we 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 hold things, we hold things. You got it. The medical doctor was supposed to be there to do the surgery. But he will hold something and then the patient die. So a lot of Ghanaian churches are in the process of withholding things to kill because they themselves are carriers of death. Are you with me? Are you getting it? Listen proper. Listen proper. Amen. Amen. So Say after me, it is more blessed to give than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. So now, I'm not supposed to withhold my number one. I'm supposed to donate blood to you. I'm not supposed to wait. When I will hold the blood donation, it means you are going to what? Die! You got me? Because Blood is life. 
So everything, everything in you is supposed to carry life. For every Christian, your time is supposed to carry what? Life! Because Jesus died on the cross and gave what? His what? Life to you. So you are a carrier of life. So don't see your money as, as something ordinary. When you give your tithes, when you give the money, you are going to make sure that what is that food? Food is what? The word of God. It's life that is going to be given to people. Amen. Amen. Say, I'm carrier of life. I'm carrier of life. This is a deep revelation. Yeah. So everything you give time, gift, talent, everything, even in your workplace, is life. That's why any president takes over the reins of the leadership of the government and then he starts giving wrong policies. Then people start dying. Because he's not giving what? Life! Say life. life. Say life. life. Say life. life. Say life. Say I am preserver of life. I am a preserver of life. That's for life it has been given by Jesus Christ. But you are the preserver of it. So be, say beginning from today. Beginning from today. I'm not going to withhold. I'm not going to withhold. That's why you will never see me withholding anything from anybody. When it's prayer, I'll give. When it's money, I'll give everything. Because God has ordained me to preserve. When you we hold, you cry. You'll be wor worried. You, you'll be frustrated. That's why a lot of us, we are frustrated. Because what you are withholding is not for you. Amen. Amen. It's not for you. Amen. Amen. So anything that God has given me, in my power to do, it means I'm carrying the life of people. Amen. Amen. So now listen, today, listen, this weekend, my, I and Kwabina will be going to some place and we'll be doing certain things because that is life. I'm giving life. When you give life, you reap it. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? So please, that is what that gift is. Is the grace of God. What is the grace of God? The goodness of God. What is love? God is love. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. It was love that carried Jesus to the cross. So it's life. And that's why when we come here and then we receive all this anointing that we go to our workplaces, we start saying this person is this and this. all you need is wisdom to handle the person. Are you with me? So that's why he says the Christian shine as what? Well. If you are, if we win souls for Christ, and you shine like a star, right? And then you preserve tree of life. You preserve the tree of what? Eh. Amen. Amen. I told you that when we were praying, a lot of things were going on. You would think I was joking. God was releasing life. God was releasing what? Life. Amen. Amen. God was releasing life. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. I present. I present. My tithes. My tithes. My finances. My finances. My paycheck. My paycheck. I present it to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I present my time. My gifts. My talent. I present it. Unto you. Unto you. Unto you. Unto you. Unto you. Unto you. Infuse it. With your life. With your life. With your life. In the name of Jesus. God is infusing it with life. Amen. Amen. <laughs>